it's it's mind blowing in its complexity, the way things all depend and interdepend on each other. I'm really I'm very excited, but I'm also very challenged by by the kind of things we've talked about. Um, in terms of outputs, we've had a load of ideas on how to deal with data, on its storage, on its management, on its dissemination. You know, what do we do with it? How can people manage it? What can they do with it? Um, We've talked a lot about contracts too. I'm very interested in creating frameworks which enable people to work freely and safely. In other words, in a safe collaborative environment where they can share information, where they can operate openly. Um, that has to be tempered, of course, by having the right kind of tools in place to enable people to keep going um, and, to, and to work together, but with the right kind of measurements in place. Uh, and we've talked a lot about some bigger, bigger issues of how you how you create a business model that's going to be able to react to this stuff. So, so yeah, really, really exciting stuff. Very, very challenging. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the next one. However, we agree to to work together. So this is our mood board, if you like, of ideas as to what the perfect project looks like. Um, our starting point was actually the end. And the end is this, it's the value to the end user and that includes societal benefits, economic benefits to the wider community, as well as the person who is actually the uh, end user, the end occupier, the end owner. To get to the end, we have to start here, which is that the basis of the project has to be a collaborative environment. So we're talking about lots of people being able to come together, to talk in a safe haven, to talk in a way which is going to enable all of these things to happen. We're talking about knowledge capture, how we hold that knowledge, how we store it, how we share it. Again, all within the safe environment. Um, we were looking also at contracting methodology, which is flexible and fluid, which allows people to step in and step out of the contract um, as they need to in order for society or the end user or both to extract the best value possible from the project. Um, I wanted to put up ethical contracting because it's really important to me that we do our projects on, a, on an ethical footing, um, both in terms of the corporates who are contributing and also uh, in terms of the outturn of the project itself. Is it something which is genuinely of benefit to the wider audience? So what we've got here is a circle which represents the maturity process allowing for continuous improvement of the project, is transparent and it's visible in terms of its transacting and in terms of the outputs and the inputs which are uh, pertinent to this cocktail here. And the cocktail is the perfect balance of ingredients. Of course, we've got to include time, processes, money is in there because everybody needs paying. Um, everybody needs to know what timescales they're working to. We've got representations of knowledge here, so traditional forms of knowledge, standards, books, things like that, and also their knowledge which is nowadays captured on computer or in the cloud, which is up here. We also wanted to draw on other industries. So we've got a whole galaxy, a whole solar system of different industries up here which are contributing to this continuous improvement, this maturity process. Um, and we've put a couple of icons just to represent specific industries which we think um, the construction and engineering industry can learn from itself. We've added in hierarchy to make sure that decision making and governance is done at the right level. Um, and we've added in process here to make sure that all of these things are done in a logical and um, um, consistent approach. <laughs>